In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down why I believe that Christian McCaffrey is one of the best players in the game, but I also want to explain how you can transfer what you can take away from this video in regs to what it can also apply for you in Mutt, and we've got some really cool tactics with it as well. So, um, if you've never been to my channel before, my name's Cody, and what I do is I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos every single day. So, if you want to get better on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball, or you'd like to kind of get a glimpse of what I do and why I do it, and maybe even and break down some pro players as well um go ahead and click subscribe we upload videos every day at two o'clock four o'clock six o'clock and eight o'clock p.m eastern time the subscribe button is at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and we also live stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m eastern uh time so really quickly uh christian mccaffrey has the playmaker ability so that's what we're going to be talking about a little bit today and this ability just came to mutt as well Deion sanders gets it and so i'm going to show you how to use it in the backfield but i'm also going to show you how to use it um, in the slot or in, as a basically as a passing uh, concept. So uh, we're going to come out in dollar three two six. I'm going to go ahead and sub some safeties in here so I can get better coverage. And we're going to show you why this is such a good um, such a good ability uh, and what it can do. So we're going to show you two things. First and foremost, we're going to show it to you from the backfield, and then we'll show it to you from um, the, the outside, uh, either the slot or something like that. So McCaffrey has the ability, and we'll just use the play drive post. You don't have to use that play. Um, it's just my favorite play in the game. This is, um, and of course, uh, real quick, if you want to pick up my full offensive scheme from the New England Patriots playbook, I have a ebook in the description that has over 300 pages, over 36 formations broken down, and over 10 hours of video content. So we literally go through step by step how to do everything you can possibly do out of the New England book. That link is in the description if you want to pick that up. Okay? So drive post. So all we're going to do is basically clear it out. So uh, I'm going to run essentially a, you know, Again, you can do any variance of this, right? But basically, you want to clear everything out so that the playmaker receiver is the receiver that you're going to actually be able to playmaker because it kind of randomly selects the playmaker receiver. It doesn't just um, it doesn't say, oh well, he has playmaker, so that's going to who you're going to be. No, it's more of like whoever's closest to the quarterback. And the way you activate playmaker is basically when you're in the pocket, when you're standing there waiting for somebody to get open, you just all you do is just flick the right joystick to wherever you want that closest receiver to you to go. So you'll see this right here. So when he curls up, I'm going to basically playmaker him to the left on a curl route. This route right here kills, and I, and let me just be clear, this route right here kills man-to-man -man coverage. Um, it, it, it will destroy man. Like, you will never struggle with man again. With, the, with this ability, um, it, it just kills it. So you'll see right here, I'm just going to put him on a simple curl route, right? Watch, he's going to light up, and then I'm going to playmaker him to the left. When I playmaker him, you see that he's going to come wide open, and he's going to be able to beat anything that anything that I want to be able to do. The next thing is, because he has backfield master, um, it kind of goes, you know, kills two birds with one stone. So you playmaker him, right, playmaker him to the, maybe the right out of this or something. But you're basically just going to playmaker him open is, is really the gist of it. Now, I don't understand why practice mode, like, ruins every video I do because the lineman sheds are just brutally insane. But one of my favorite tactics is to have him on a ghost route right here. And basically, if I face man coverage, I'm just going to playmaker him to the left. You see he's literally going to beat him by several yards, and then you can easily, you know, juke up field or whatever. So that's a little bit about how to use it out of the backfield, right? You can you can do all kinds of things. One of the other things really quickly for you um, that I just want to show you, and the reason I want to show it to you is because I think it's really, really effective. So um, put him on a ghost route, get him out here. Now when I playmaker him, you'll see he's going to get a step on man. So you know, pretty much wherever I playmaker him, he's going to get an, an opportunity. So if he's in man coverage on him, then you just want to playmaker him to the right or to the left. If he's in zone coverage, and I'll show you that here in just a second, um, and they're running this, then you want to playmaker him away from the zones, obviously, but more importantly, oftentimes what I like to do is I'll playmaker him upfield, and he'll get in a really soft spot. So, like, he might be right here. I'm just going to playmaker him upfield, and then I could hit him once he passes the yellow zones. All the defense has run, ran, ran away, basically, um, and so I'm going to have an opportunity to, to hit him. Uh, I'll show you another example, like with the curl situation. So he's coming down here, sitting on a curl. Now I could just playmaker him left and then maybe playmaker him up, 
and you're going to see with the playmaker, you know, it's going to allow me to beat some of these max coverage defenses. So it's really good from the backfield. It's even better from the wide receiver position. I'm going to show you that right now. Before I do that, I do want you to know, I was talking to you earlier about my text message or um, my, my New England playbook. If you want a free sample formation for that, um, f completely free, all you have to do is just shoot me a text message. My number is 812 uh, 216 three, six, four, four. Um, very easy to get a hold of me. So just shoot me a text and let me know that you'd like to receive that video. It's completely free. It's an over an hour breakdown on the U trips, which you might've seen Decroft use, um, in competitive Madden. So drive post, we'll show you this real quick. So you see him got McCaffrey, uh, flexed out wide. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to run all these guys off now, but really important with this, if you're going to use it from this specific play, you have to get the back out of the way. So I put him on a wheel route. You can put him on a swing if you want, but you just got to get him out of the way. And basically what's going to happen when McCaffrey comes over this way, I'm just going to flick up and you'll see if they're in press man, this will oftentimes get him over the top of a press man situation. The playmaker, when he activates, when you activate his playmaker ability, um, even if like for, even if, for example, this is a really good, I use this all the time. So he's going to be coming open here and I'm just going to play make him left. You see, he gets that instant, win see how, see how instant the cut is. That's what I like about this playmaker uh, route. This year, more than it's ever been, I think it's really, really critical because um, it doesn't only serve a purpose against zone coverage. It actually is going to serve a purpose against man coverage. Another thing you could do is if he's dragging across, I could playmaker him kind of crookedly, like basically, you know, kind of like diagonal, and he's going to run a, essentially like a post route. Um, so what this allows you to do with a route like this route from drive post is it really allows you a lot of flexibility. I mean, you can do all kinds of things. You can get him all the way over here and then play make him left. You see, whoops, he's going to go this way. And it's almost like you have a built in kind of whip route out of um, whatever you're running. You know, there's, there's so many ways that this can be applied. Um, I love doing this in zone coverage. Absolutely love doing this in zone coverage. So again, you're running your levels concept here. Um, everything kind of you know, let the play break down just a little bit. Playmaker him up. And you'll see, I mean, if they don't have, obviously they have a mid read right here. So it's not a great example. It's a really, really good example against like Mabel coverage. Um, because what's going to happen is he's going to basically be covered by their user. That's how they're going to try to stop him. The, it's very difficult to use or a playmaker guy. Um, it, it just is. You'll see here, just playmaker him up, click and basically pass lead inside, click on, and you can, you can easily hit that. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this playmaker. Um, it really forces them to have to defend the whole field, which is really, really cool too. So, you know, if they're playing underneath yellows, you just playmaker him up. If they're playing, you know, kind of standard yellows, then you could just playmaker him um, to the left side and throw it instantly. Let me, let me show you here. This is just like basic cover three. So if I get something like this, you know, and, and I, you know, I'm just busy reading. I don't see everything. I can play maker him left. You'll see, and just throw it instantly. And I can get old, get old, throw out a sack out of practice mode drives me absolutely insane in this game. Um, that, that this is, this is this bad because literally you can't, I mean, they just give you no time in the pocket, even when they run a max coverage. But if you watch McCaffrey here, Again, just kind of come up here. Oh, there's so many people in here. So I can play McCrim left, um, and now he's open. You know, and basically just essentially use the playmaker. Use it to get him open. You'll see here. I mean, you can just kind of freestyle with this a little bit. But it's really, really good for those underneath routes. And, uh, really, really good. Um, so – Anyway, that's just what I wanted to talk about. I just, I honestly just wanted to talk about this route. Um, I've been doing it in Mutt with Deion Sanders. The cool part about it is you don't just have to do it from the outside receiver. You can move this guy around. So let's say that you're running like, um, I don't know. Let's let's just say you're running, um, gosh, Pat Sale. Okay. Let's just say you're running that, right? You're running Pat Sale. So McCaffrey's going to go on that route. And then basically you're going to, you know, basically just do something like this and just run people out of the way is really all we're trying to do. But you'll see here, if they run man coverage, I can playmaker him to the left. And, you know, of course I don't get a chance to get him the ball, but, but you'll see, I mean, and it's just cause I'm running random plays, which was a mistake by me. But basically what I'm trying to get you to see here is if I, if I have him on this hitch right here, now I can playmaker him to the left and you'll see he gets, he gets that instant win. He's going to instantly beat that coverage once you playmaker him. That's what's nice about it. So like man up 3D, this is a good example here. So, um, you know, just, just simply playmakering 
uh, here, playmaker left, you see he instantly gets that separation. So now what it allows you to do from like a gun bunch situation is you could realistically have multiple different things that you could do from this um, out of this. So for example, you could do this and then you could playmaker him to the right side if, if that was open. I'm not saying it is, but you could. Um, and so there's just, the, the possibilities are endless. But I wanted to share this with you today um, and I want you to start trying it out. I mean, it's, it's a really, really good concept. Um, you can do this from anything. So you know, you could take your, your tight end and run him on a crossing route, which I can't show that because I don't have tight end apprentice. But you'll see, like, right here, I could playmaker him to the to the, to the the right or to the left, you know, relatively easily. I could do, you know, something like this. And it just allows you to really have a lot of advantages, um, have a lot of advantages over the middle of the field with this guy. And you really – it's tough to stop. You could playmaker – you see here, I could playmaker – um, and I got to get the, you, one of the things you got to lab a little bit is how to get the clear, you know, how to get everything cleared out, but, um, to, to kind of open this up, but basically, you know, I could do something like this where he's on a, you know, the playmakers coming across formation, right? Just like this right here. And then maybe playmaker. Oh, he's going back now. And their, their user, you know, might get lost with that. It, it's a tight cut. Um, so it's just something that I would encourage you to test out. I know that I haven't showed, you know, all of the different things that you could do with this. There's a lot that you can do with this. Um, some things will work better than other things, but I would just encourage you, you know, and again, you, you might just need to hit him quick. You know, I'm obviously, you know, just running random plays, which was a, a little bit of a mistake because it, it doesn't allow me to show you some of the specific things that the defense is going to do. But, you know, really what I'm trying to get you to see is when you, when you cut him back, like when he's coming across formation and you play him back, he's going to instantly get separation against man. And, and that's really good because it's, it, it really does open this up a lot. Last year, this, this didn't used to be so good against man this year. It's really, really good against man. So, um, so yeah, check out the playmaker. If you want to get the sample formation from the new England guide, um, shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. You can ask me any Madden questions as well. It is my personal cell phone number and we'll see you guys later on.